Okay, I thought I would do a video about how to do um, bisque firing in your microwave kiln. So um, the first thing that you want to do, and this is very important and you do not want to skip this step. After you have dried your clay, whatever it may be, um, I have to keep mine pretty small because my microwave kiln is only about two inches tall on the inside, so you definitely don't want it touching. Um, so I mainly do jewelry. So I've got some pendants and earrings here, um, and they have completely dried. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking my greenware and I'm putting it on foil. Um, I'm using a toaster oven. You can also use your oven at home. So what you want to do is put it on 200, so you're going to do it on bake, and I would go on and put it in there um, while it's preheating, and that way you're not shocking the clay and you have less chance of anything cracking. Um, so what you want to do, so we're going to do it for 200, which why we're doing 200 is because that is above the, and that is in Fahrenheit, that is above the boiling point of water. So what's going to happen is any moisture that is inside our greenware here is going to evaporate before we put it in the microwave. And that's very important. Um, before I did this, um, I was not having any success. All of my pieces were exploding and it was just not happening. So do not skip this step. Um, I have forgotten and actually stuck it on um, in the microwave already. And of course it exploded and I was like, silly goose. So at 200 and you want to leave it in here for about 30 minutes. I usually just stick it in here and forget about it for a while. Um, and then we will carry on after that. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, and I have my pieces here. They will be hot, so I highly recommend. I'm using my um, heat gloves that I use for glass fusing. So what you want to do is just put these. I just use, I just leave whatever kiln paper I have on here. Um, I have not found that it will stick, so I don't think that the thin fire paper is necessary for doing a bisque with these. Uh, I would do it when we start to glaze. So right now I'm just laying these out and I'm just making sure that they don't touch. Um, they're really not gonna change shape or anything at all. They're just gonna get a lot of heat on them. So once I have all of these on here, I am going to put my lid on and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we are. Um, my pieces are in here. I've got my lid on. I'm just going to stick it in the microwave. And what you want to do, um, you want to do high heat. But what you want to do is to do it in three minute intervals until it reaches bisque temperature. So I'll, I'm gonna go on and do, it takes a few, it's kind of monotonous, but it's, it's worth it. So just make sure you're nearby because it's gonna ring every three minutes. So I'm gonna start three minute intervals and it probably takes, depending on the size of your pieces, I would say, oh, about, mm, about 10 rounds, I would say. Um, and I'll show you when we're getting closer to the end of the three minute cycles, what you're going to look for when you're bisque firing. So right now I'm just gonna put it on three minute intervals. Like I said, it's gonna take about 10 of these three minute intervals to get to um, where we need to get. So, um, I'll keep count and cause I'm curious, I've not really done that and I will tune back in when it's getting closer to being done. Okay. So it has been 
nine nine minutes so three sets of three i just wanted to show you a little bit what's going on this is okay to touch right now but once it starts getting towards the bisque you will need gloves um i'll show you it's it's hot on the inside so be careful and the heat's out you can start to see it's going to start lightening so you can see that it's definitely not as dark a gray i'm using a white clay so it starts off gray. Just be careful, it will be hot. Um, so I'm gonna shut this back and I'll show you closer um, to this time. Okay, we are on the end of about 15 minutes. Um, should be fully bisque now. Just gonna peek here. Oh yeah, so the inside is glowing, you'll see. And you see how white these are? So that is all it takes. I'm gonna set these over here to cool. And I'll actually show you a comparison with the, um, the raw clay versus the bisque fire. So you can kind of see the color difference. So you should be able to see it changing color. Um, depending on what kind of clay you're using, like I said, I'm using a white, so obviously mine's going to be white. You, um, you know, or earthenware and maybe an orange, um, you know, just check what a good bisque fire color is for your um, work. So I've got mine over here cooling. So you can see how far it's come. So taking your lid off here. Just leave your lid on. So this is a greenware piece that's not been bisque fired. And then here is our bisque here. So you can see there's a significant color difference here. So that is good to go. Just make sure that you let it cool with the lid on completely out of your microwave. You do not want to leave anything hot in your microwave because this top really radiates a lot of heat. So I hope this was helpful and I should have another video showing you how to glaze in your microwave kiln. So um, just follow me, like this video, and there will be more. So, happy pottery making, everyone.